Okay, welcome back. This is uh, part two of a series of videos about the PolyEd tool uh, in modeling mode in UE 5.1. Uh, okay, so last time I showed you how to use a bunch of the selection controls and a little bit of the sort of gizmo controls. This time I'm going to talk more about uh, the gizmo. I'm, I'm going to mention a few things I forgot last time. Um, one thing uh, to note is about the snapping. So that, you know, right now you can see um, the gizmo is not snapping. This is because I'm in local coordinates mode. So if I toggle this to global, now you can see it is snapping to this grid step size of 10 here. Uh, so the snap, grid snapping right now only works in global coordinates mode, um, which is sometimes a bit annoying, but uh, that's what we have right now. Um, one other thing uh, I wanted to mention, let's just pull a couple of these out. Uh, so there's actually a hotkey. You see at the bottom here, there's a few, uh, it might be clipped, I guess, in the video, but there's a few little notes about hotkeys. So the orientation lock um, that I mentioned before is, on. A, you can toggle that with the Q hotkey. So here, uh, you know, that's the orientation of the gizmo when I select that face. If I hit Q, that toggles on the lock rotation. And then when I select other faces, it, you know, moves the gizmo, but it keeps the orientation of that face. Um, so that can be useful in different contexts, and Q toggles that back off, although you have to uh, reselect to get the new gizmo orientation. So that's uh, orientation lock. Okay, so the, the main other thing I wanted to talk about um, is just the sort of gizmo snapping and pivot controls. So for instance, if I s select these three faces here, I want to translate them to exactly hit this face of this other object. Um, this can be, you know, could be quite difficult. You, you essentially would have to eyeball it. But if you hold control while you're dragging, you'll start to get uh, snapping capabilities. So the snapping basically can snap to vertices of other meshes, or it can also snap to sort of hit locations in the world. So right now you see I'm getting this little X in a circle around my cursor that means that I'm snapping to the hit location at that point on the ground. So if I wanted to like line this up with some point uh, on some object on the ground, I could just eyeball it. Same thing with on a face, so now it's snapping to the top face of this cube at the hit point. But you can see it also sometimes jumps to a dot, that's when it's snapping to a vertex. So if I wanted to exactly align, if I just mouse over close to one of the vertices and let go, you see now it's exactly hitting of that face there and then maybe I want to select these two drag those out here so now it's snapping to the hit point and I can just put it anywhere on this back face and now I've made a sort of platform that connects up up these two um, so but I'm gonna cancel that now uh, and show you how to also move the pivot um, so that's another thing that can be pretty useful. So that snapping works um, within an object too, so I can snap to my own vertices um, if I want to line up like a specific vertex uh, with some other point on the model and stuff like that. This is a great, I have a great example here. Um, another thing we can do is modify the pivot. So say I want to rotate this face around this edge back here. So what I can do is I can middle drag on that axis and then hold down control and now I can snap the gizmo you know I mean if I wanted to rotate around that point I could do that but I'm gonna snap it back here so because I was moving on the axis it's constrained but so now when I rotate I'm rotating around that back edge that I snapped to um, and basically the whole gizmo works that way you can um, put it anywhere with the mouse or like a mouse down and snap it to any um, point on, on your mesh or other meshes in the scene or scene positions too. So if you just want to like hit a face or something like that. Um, you can also do that with the rotation. So it's a bit more complicated example. I'll set up here, I'll turn on vertex selection. I'm just going to select these three vertices. What I want to do is rotate those three vertices around this one. So I can middle drag and snap the position there. And then I can middle drag the rotation, and the way this works is essentially it'll sort of point one of the axes at the snap location. So if I snap it to this far vertex, 
now the gizmo is lined up with those three and then I can rotate them sort of up and down around that far vertex. Uh, so this is really powerful. This is um, when you start to think about all the different ways you can use this to do um, sort of relative transform operations. And you can combine this with the um, lock rotation. So I can lock that rotation now if I want to use that axis for other things. And I can jump around and it's going to keep that orientation and I can, well, I guess I can't rotate a vertex around it, but I can, you know, so I can construct a, a frame essentially and then use that frame on other faces and selections and things like that. Okay, and uh, so that's the end of uh, sort of selection and gizmo. Um, and now I'm going to have a, in, in the next couple of videos, I'm going to go through all of these operations that are available to, to do additional sort of changes to the shape topology.